View. Today we're looking at USB tester, Unity UT658. See how well your USB devices are charging and see whether or not the cables you're using are any good. I received two different units. One is in English, the other is in Chinese. In the box itself, you get the UT658 tester, as well as a small instruction manual and a small UPC. Gives you all these specs and the basic charging detail. The device itself is quite nice, quite small, typical size of a standard USB flash drive, perhaps just a tiny bit larger. Other than that, it weighs next to nothing does have a screen protector as well as a plastic cover to cover the dongle. That was dongle, not donkey. Now in effect, these are actually tiny little meters. Yes, they don't come with test leads, but they do measure current, current draw, current usage, voltage output. So in effect, it is a tiny multimeter without test leads. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. For this review, I'm gonna be looking at the console as a test device. This is an external battery charger. Quite a nice uh, unit. Retails for around 80 bucks. Um, it has two different chargers. As you can see, we have your one amp. On the external charger, it does tell you the input, DC five volts, two amps, as well as the output, one DC five volt, two amps, and two DC five volt, one amp. We're gonna verify that. Is it just me or is this battery uncomfortably close? The nice thing about the USB tester itself is that you can do a couple of things. One of them is, first you can verify whether or not you have a good charging system in place. So if you have an external uh, battery charger, um, for instance, you can plug this in and right away you can tell by looking at that output voltage if the device is working properly. How do you do that? Pretty simple really. If it's higher than 5.3 volts or lower than 4.7 volts, you're going to see a warning symbol come up on the UT65, and 658 rather. And with that warning symbol, it's basically telling you that the output voltage is outside the normal USB range of 5 volts. So you know you've got a dud at that point. Now, one of those ports is a 2 amp, so it's a higher uh, current port. The other two are outputting 5 volts at 1 amp. So I wanna test that two amp because lately I've noticed that it's just not charging as fast as it used to. Now you can see here the two amp and the one amp and the one amp. And let's take a look at that output. So 4.82 volts, it is within the safe realm. So it's higher than 4.7 and uh, not, as, not higher than 5.30 volts. So we know that as a charging port, it's working fine. But what about the actual output? So I'm gonna hook it up to a device and let's see what we're looking at in terms of a current draw. So we should be seeing about two amps. And sure enough, look at that, we're at one amp on that two amp port. So it is definitely on the way out. I plugged it into the one amp port and that is functioning as per the norm, one amp. And let's just take a look at the other one amp port. And let's see, yeah, once again, no problem there. So that two amp port is not giving us the juice that it is rated for. So that's why it's been taking longer than normal to charge something. Before it used to be really quick with this unit, but uh, not the case anymore in that two amp port and I can see why. So really good uh, tester in this respect, telling us exactly how good or not so good that charging port is. Another really useful function, AKA cool function, is the fact you can check your cables. You know, let's face it, I don't know about you, but I go through USB cables like crazy. I'm telling you, every month I'm buying new cables. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have kids. Maybe it's because um, I have lots of phones in the house. I'm not sure, but we go through a lot of cables. So every now and then things begin to go south and you wanna know, Let's face it, troubleshooting is all about baby steps. So you wanna start with the most basic things. And one of the first um, criteria is look at that cable. Maybe the cable is not doing so good. So I've got a couple cables here. I'm gonna start with the black one right now. 
And what we're gonna do is just look at that output voltage. So I'll put it back in the good charging port. And there we are, 4.96 volts, 1.07 amps. So I'm gonna so change gonna this key. using a different cable now. And we're getting one amp even. Before we were getting 1.06 or 07 amps and 4.97 volts. So the voltage is pretty well the same. So the other cable, the black cable is slightly better. Just a little more current output. So it's gonna charge just slightly faster. So that's one way of verifying whether or not you have a good or a better cable. And it might not necessarily be a bad cable, but you can definitely have one that can work better. As well, it's got a really nice backlit display as you can see, nice and crisp. Definitely easy on the eyes. This is a great device. I just touched on the basics. These also have some logging capability. There's up to 10 different channels as well. So you can have a different mode, different testing scenario, and look at the data as well. But at its simplest, it's a great little device to check whether or not that charging port is working and how good those cables are and what sort of output you're looking at from your devices. Hey, this is a really neat little tool and it doesn't cost a lot of money. We're talking around six, seven dollars US. Really, can you afford not to have one? I'm gonna give the UT658 a solid four out of five stars. Thanks for watching this review. It's Unity Week, as you know, every day, new video. Hope you're enjoying them. I love the comments, love the feedback. Till the next time. Keep on testing.